Hello and welcome to Feeding on Jesus International, where we believe that through the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ, we can feed and nourish the hungry. Keep speaking your righteousness. Romans chapter 8 verse 3. For what the law could not do in that it was weak in the flesh, God did by sending his own son. Amen. I love today's scripture. The answer, my friend, is found not in the law, but in the son. The law was given by a servant, Moses. Grace came through the, the son, Jesus. The grace revelation begins with a person and his name is Jesus. When you have Jesus as your Lord and Savior and a revelation of his grace, you have everything. You have, most importantly, a new and righteous identity in Christ. Many believers today realize this, but revelations can be stolen and forgotten. That is what happened to the Corinthian church, and Paul had to step in to remind them of their righteous identity in Christ. This is also why it is so essential for you to be part of a local church where you can keep on hearing and hearing messages that are full of the person of Jesus and be surrounded by Christian, by Christ-centered leaders and friends who will always point you back to the Lord and your righteous identity in Christ. I want to encourage you to have a daily consciousness of your righteousness in in Christ by speaking and confessing your righteousness out loud. I believe that you know you are righteous in Christ and that righteousness is a gift you cannot earn. While knowing this is fantastic, I want you to take a step further with me today and begin to practice confessing your righteousness in Christ daily. My dear, beloved, my beloved, when you, when you are stressed out and a thousand things are screaming for your attention, say quietly under your breath, I am the righteousness of God in Christ. When you read some horrible news in the morning papers and your heart is gripped with fear for your loved ones, just say quietly under your breath. I am the righteousness of God in Christ. And when you are feeling a temptation to indulge again in a past addiction, now you know what to do. Say quietly under your breath, I am the righteousness of God in Christ. Your remaining in victory is directly related to how conscious you are of your righteous identity in Christ. If you truly desire to see lasting breakthrough in your life and live above defeat, speak. Speak out. Speak up and speak without doubt. And I promise you that you will live more stress-free, more fearlessly, more boldly, and more victoriously than ever before. Amen. Remain blessed. Shalom. Stay tuned.